live from Homewood Field. Wayne Viner, Bruce Bowser in the background. It's Brett Maycar, Maryland. They took the score down, Bruce. It was 22-7. Yep. So it's the most amount of goals Maryland ever scored yeah. at Hopkins. And the biggest margin of victory. So thanks to guys like this. Yep. And, uh, and the whole defense. And the second defense. Oh, they're awesome. They're awesome. They're awesome. And probably a little bit of the third defense. Okay. You know? okay. uh, do we have some scout players in there? Yes, they, yes. They, 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 everybody got in. Yes. It, it was close, but you know what? Tom just gave two things to make it a blowout. When they poked the bear, when they got the Wisconsin, all of a sudden the bear woke up. Ball game over. And the big juice when the Weirman scored again. What does that do for the team, bro? Yeah, we call that uh, juice goals. You know, that's uh, that's Luke being Luke. He's been awesome that all year, kind of taking advantage of what the defense gives him. You know, our offense does such a great job, and we put defense in such a, tough, such a tough position when you got to decide between sliding off a guy like Logan, a guy like Owen Murphy, Keegan Khan. They do such an awesome job that it uh, just opens up a lot for Luke, and he takes advantage of it. He's been great at that this year. You think this is a special night for Owen Murphy? No doubt. I mean, yeah. I don't know if you saw there. He was kind of the first one to grab the crown. We have it. You guys will be watching the video. Keep talking. Yeah, right? yeah. here in this kind of environment uh you know they have history here and that was a big motivation for us you know we love both those guys so happy they're turps and to be able to do it for them it, it feels great it makes it even better well you know what i don't have to tell you this is this is not yes sir you see the regular season goes on i'm beating all that stuff behind us yes, now it's down to the real that's it. That's it. the big thing the big thing tournament and the big dance and uh, nobody could be more ready for it yes, than 43. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Boss. You guys are the best. All right. All right. All right. So, uh, All right. So we're going to continue. There was a moment. Maryland broke out quickly. Stacks with you. You were about 10 rows behind me. I was on the field. You said, hold on. Uh, you don't know. And then well, Hopkins scored a couple. Like they were out of their minds. Okay. And, and they but, scored a couple goals. And then that sequence you just went over happened. Right. And, listen, and that was it. That was it. But... It was. I really think even with 22 goals being scored, it was a defensive effort. Hopkins could not score. Maryland, you know, look, they got a they got a, a man advantage where one guy slipped, so it was really two men. Then they got another situation where a shorty fell, uh, running backwards, and and that was about it. And uh, hey, John, great day, man, Jonathan Donville. Uh, you know, he had to love it today. You said it beforehand, him and Keegan and everybody. They had to be really pumped. They did. You know what this we're going to do? We're going to have a second half for the post game show. We're going to get the interviews. Everybody's heading in. We'll come back and finish. We'll come back and finish. Okay. So I got uh, a lot more to say. I'm sure. uh, the Maryland fans <laughs> sure were did. unbelievable. Right. The way they cheered. The backup defense. I'm Wayne Viner from Viner Four Gates. We make your company work. I'm Arthur Smith with Viner Four Gates. Two-factor authentication is a must-have in today's world. Security training for your company is a must. The crooks are getting smarter. We have to give you the edge to fight back. Well, it's emptied out a bit here at Homewood, but the score stays the same. Maryland 22 to 7 over Hopkins. Bruce, you said as we went to break, they have a lot more to say. Have at it. Yeah, you know, it's been a great regular season so far, 12 and 0, but let me make this point. And when I had a good chance to talk to Quinn today before the game, and this thing about the greatest team ever, let me tell you, it means nothing. Nobody is ever, no matter what happens to the rest of you, are going to call Maryland the greatest team ever. Because the guys, the other teams who were undefeated and won the natty, they feel they were. But I'm going to say this, okay, all that matters is you know what? On May 30th, Memorial Day, you and me in Connecticut, hopefully, we got a long way to go. Big Ten tournament in two weeks, Thursday and Saturday at College Park. It'd be great to add another title. They got, they beat Hopkins. They won the Big Ten regular season. Yeah. All right, everything's in line. Most uh, 20 goal teams right. in the history of the program. Everything's there, Bruce. Well, the season's starting. It's not, it's just starting. Well, right? we need to win. We, being Maryland, needs to win 18 games. That's the two games more in the Big Ten. 
and then four games in the NCAAs and you win the national championship. So right. you're 12-0. and 0. You're two-thirds of the way there. You need six more wins. You take it all. Question for you. Yeah. In the Big Ten championship, in those two games, do you kind of go easy with Weirman? Do you kind of like... You know, uh, I don't think so. I think Gavin Ty's pretty good. He was he's pretty good. Yeah, no, he's but in, in other words, I don't know. I guess it depends who you play or whatever. But if you relax for a second, that's what happens. But right. this game shocked me. I thought it was going to be close. And that's because I was here last year. And when it was 4 to nothing, you heard it. Hopkins exploded. You could hear that cheer around the city. It was so loud. This place was packed. And it might have been 60 40 oh, Hopkins? 60, no, 60 40 Maryland. I don't know. Called 50 50. But this place, no, I'm not. It was 60 40. This place Maryland. exploded, and when it got to be four, four to one, and then five to one, then it got to be, I think, eight to four, eight to three, or seven to three. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Luke Weirman scored, and Logan, they poked the bear. The bear woke up, and the game was what? Look, the game was over because right. you can't win if you don't have the ball. Now, I, I want to go back to what you said before go ahead. In, in your rant there. This is so far the best team I have seen in any sport at Maryland. I don't go to everything. I don't go women's lacrosse. I don't go to field hockey. But for the stuff that I go see, which is the football, the basketball, some of the soccer, this is the best team so far I've ever seen at Maryland. Maybe they win the national championship. Maybe they don't. It's because of the depth. It's because they brought in guys like a Donville. They brought in a Keegan Kahn. They brought in some of the best players. Hey, don't some forget Owen Murphy. Right. Owen Murphy. I'm talking about the guys who are in their last year. Right. The guys who got one chance to play a game at Homewood Field and they made it count. Yeah. On top of the Brett May cars, on top of having uh, Wisnowskis, this is the best team I've seen. I got to think this is the, one of the few times that as a Maryland fan, you get to go wire to wire. That you think when the season starts, this team can win everything. Let's and not get ahead of ourselves, build, Wayne. I got to be happy while I have the chance. You never right. know what's going to happen in life. Right now, right. this looks like a national championship team. Right, and and winning the Big Ten championship would be great. It's not the end of the world. No, it might way. even help if you lost a game in some I don't ways. think anything, it ever helps to lose, but the world won't come to an end if they did. No, right? but if, if Maryland doesn't lose a game, Having been with you for years now, <laughs> and they're sixteen and zero or seventeen and zero. Eighteen and zero. If they get to eighteen, that's a national champion. Right. If you get to seventeen and zero, you're gonna go, oh my God, can they get to eighteen? They, what, what you know, you have this thing. What's your jinx thing? About? Well, uh, well, I like to see teams lose once in a while. Okay, I don't like hitting that last game. And you know, whoever you play in the last two games, if you get to the final four, if you're lucky enough, you never have an easy game. It's never.